before it's too late. Mary Hudden is an Australian. Less than 10 years ago, she knew little about conservation and nothing about sun bears. Now her charity, Free the Bears, provides this rescue facility and has operations in four other countries. There are 29 sun bears, seven black bears and seven tigers here now. Each of the bears is a character with a story of life before the rescue centre. But most are horror stories. Um, Ramdor was taken out of um, back, somebody wearing a backpack. She was taken out of a little basket on the back and she was going across the borders into Vietnam, either for the restaurant trade or bile, for the bile farms. And um, she was confiscated by the wildlife protection office and brought to the zoo. And some special sun bear milk actually was sent from Australia. It was made up specially for her as she was quite a baby, probably about two to three months old. And um, she did very well on that. She was fed by a bottle until she was about four months. Another rescued bear, this time a so-called pet. Emaciated and scared, this little bear was confiscated from a normal family home. The owners indifferent to its starvation and suffering. is immediately named Mokia by the Khmer keepers, which means ugly face. Certainly a face which, at this moment, not even his mother would love. So, you're right, Mokia, isn't that? You can hang on to the crate, and you can go back to the crate, easy enough, back to the food. But a few months of care, and ugly face will be as strong as this cub, Bopa. He's probably much younger than Mokia, but already, at just over a year, his powerful claws and teeth can make short work of a coconut or anything else. A more difficult case is Aurel, a sun bear trapped in a snare in the wild. His paw was so badly damaged it had to be amputated. For months he's been here at the rescue centre, he won't be returned to the wild. The hope is that he'll be sent to a zoo in Australia. Melanie Lloyd is an experienced animal keeper from Exmouth in England. She's a volunteer working with Free the Bears. Because he's a wild bear and a mature adult male, it's very difficult. I've spent hours and hours with him and he goes through fits and fads. Sometimes he's good, um, but anything will freak him out. Sudden movements. His foot has healed almost completely, which is really good. Um, since then, he's had a double root canine job done as well. But, yeah, he's good. He takes food from me and some of the other keepers, but there's still a long way to go. Sun bears are extremely agile. By contrast, their black bear cousins are considerably less athletic. The black bear is much more of a ground dweller than the sun bear although it's still a remarkable climber when there's food to be had. Its shorter claws and heavier bulk make the athletic feats of the little sun bear impossible. And because they are larger and apparently stronger, they are more favoured by poachers and bile farmers, to the degree that they are now seriously endangered. The trouble is, reliable research is scarce, so no one really knows just how many are left. Dishes of bear bile, destined for the traditional Chinese medicine trade, the product of a merciless disregard for animal suffering. 
These images were filmed by the Worldwide Society for the Protection of Animals in Vietnam, where bear farming is still legal. These bears are milked for their bile until their gallbladders collapse. Before it's too late, 